Yo, what's up everybody, Jumping here, and today I am back on some Borderlands 3, and I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and spill the beans and show you guys how you can duplicate items and money and pretty much whatever you want in this game. Because before the game came out, Gearbox said that they really wanted to try to fix duping. And at the time that they said that, I was talking to my friends and I was telling them, well, they can fix it if they do three things. And those three things that they would have to do is, one, they would have to make it so that anytime you drop an item, the game will save. Two would be that anytime you trade an item, the game would save. And three would be that it needs to be a server save, meaning a non-physical save. If they do all three things, they would fix duping. Well, guess what? They only did two of those things, the first two. They didn't actually make it a non-physical save. So because of that, we can actually manipulate our game save. Now, you don't need to use any programs or anything like that. It's much more simpler than that. But that's how you can now still duplicate items in this game. And money, of course, as well. So the first thing I'm going to show you is what you need to do if you actually want to start this process. Alrighty, so the first thing that you're going to need to do is find out where your game save is. I'm on the PlayStation 4. And if you're also on the PlayStation 4, you need to go to your settings and then go to Application Save Data Management. Now, if you're on the Xbox or PC, you can find where your game save is, but you need to find that. Once you have found it, you then need to go ahead and make a copy of it. Now, on the PlayStation 4, under Save Data in System Storage, you have the option to upload to a cloud, but you have to have PlayStation Plus to do this, or you can copy it to a USB storage device. So either way is fine, and for this, all you have to do is just go ahead and, of course, click on it. I would recommend copying your profile data and also your character data, but you go ahead and just copy that. If you want to do it to the USB, you can, but on the PlayStation, I'm going to go ahead and upload it to the cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and now select it, click on Upload, and I'm going to say Yes, Apply to All, and then I'm going to upload it to the cloud. So once you have made your backup copy, at this point, you can do whatever you want. And then as long as you go and retrieve this copy of your save, you're good. So if you drop stuff to duplicate it, or if you give away money, if you go and retrieve this copy, you're going to restore everything back to the original state. Alrighty, well I'm back on the game now, and the first thing I'm going to do is show you exactly how this works. Now, if you're going to dupe, obviously, you're going to want to have a friend so you can dupe with your friend. But you can also do this by yourself. And if you're interested in how to do that, I will be explaining that a little bit later on. But for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop all of these items I have right on the ground. And I'm actually going to unequip a couple items as well and drop these on the ground. And by doing this, if I save the game right now and back out, I'm going to lose everything that I just dropped. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to quit out the game. I'm going to load it back up. and I'm going to show you that everything will be lost. All righty. Well, I am back. And as you can see, everything is gone, obviously. And if I open up my menu, it's gone. I've lost it. So now we need to correct that. I need to go and retrieve that copy that I made of my save, and by doing that, everything will be restored to me. Alrighty, so now I need to retrieve my game save, the one I made the copy of. So if you're on the PlayStation, you're going to want to go to Settings, and then Application Save Data Management, and this is where you will find your save to retrieve it. If you're on the Xbox or the PC, you're going to have to find where you can actually retrieve that copy that you made. But on the PlayStation, I'm going to click on this. Now, if you made a copy using a USB storage device, you need to go to Save Data on USB Storage Device and then Copy to System Storage. This will overwrite your current system storage save. But if you uploaded it to the cloud, you need to go to Save Data in Online Storage and then Download to System Storage. And once again, this will overwrite my current game save that I have, the one where I lost those items by dropping them and then quitting out. So now I'm going to go ahead and download it, and this will completely restore everything that I had, and it's like it never happened. Alrighty, well, I am back on the game now, so let's go ahead and take a look. And as you can see, everything that I lost is now back. All these items that I dropped, and then I quit and saved it and lost them. 
they are all restored, including these items that I had equipped it, that I went ahead and got rid of. Everything is back. So let's go ahead and now talk about some of the shenanigans that you can do with this. Now, if you want to just duplicate some items like some legendaries, all you have to do is, of course, make that copy of the save. And then if you have a friend, just drop stuff on the ground for your friend, let your friend pick it up. And then go and retrieve that copy that you made and overwrite your save and you will have all the stuff and your friend will have all the stuff. Now if you want to duplicate money, this can take a little bit longer, especially if you're talking about trying to get to max money. Now if you have a bunch of people doing it, like if you have a full group and everybody is doing it, it's going to be a lot quicker. But if it's just you and another friend, what you would do is go to trade with that friend. And then first you want to get as much money as you can to start with. Copy your save, and then when you come back, you give your friend all the money, and then you go and retrieve the save to overwrite the money that you lost, basically. And now, you have your friend give you all the money back, and that will effectively double the money. And then you just keep doing that. You constantly will copy the save, and then once you give the money away, get your save back, and every time your friend gives you the money, you're going to need to be doubling that money until eventually you will hit max money. But it can be a long process, so just be warned about that. Now, once you have the max money, there are several things you can actually do with it. One thing you can do is actually play the slot machines. And if you're playing the slot machines, especially if you're lower level, you can sit here all day if you have max money and play these slots. And you're really not going to lose much money by doing this. And you can actually get legendaries by just simply playing the slots. So that is something that's pretty cool that you can do. And you can also, of course, get your ammo fully maxed out. It is actually quite expensive to max out your ammo. If you want to max out everything, it's like pretty much $50 million to max it out. So be warned about that. You kind of want to get a lot of money if you're going to duplicate money if you want to max out your ammo. And there's actually several things you can do with your mail. Now, one thing you can do is you can send other players mail in this game. Send them items. So if you make a copy of your save, you can go ahead and just select some of your random friends who are playing the game. Just give them items and surprise them with random legendaries and then go and retrieve your save. And guess what? You have all the stuff and the person that you sent the mail to will also receive that stuff. Now, besides that, there's something else you can do with the mail. Any mail that you receive if you see that, hey, some guy sent me a legendary, or if you have some of those booster packs from buying the game, you can actually make a backup copy of your save. And this is one of the reasons why I think you should make a backup copy of your profile data, because I believe the mail is tied in with the profile data, is that once you do that, you can actually open up that mail, retrieve those items, and then just give those items away to dupe them go and retrieve your save and overwrite it and guess what you'll still have the mail so effectively you are duping the mail and what's really cool about the booster packs is that those will scale to your level so if you save those you can actually just constantly receive some of those legendary items like the shield and the grenades and stuff like that now besides that there is one thing i know that people are going to ask and that is how do you do this by yourself how do you dupe by yourself if you don't have friends to help you dupe. Well, the way that you dupe items by yourself is you have to have a second account and a second controller. So what you would do is make a second account if you don't have one, and then when you're on the game, and let's say on your main account you've made a backup copy of your save, you simply just pause the game, log in that second account with the second controller, and that will put you on a split screen. Once you've done that, you can just give items to the second account, you can go ahead and dupe the money to a second account and just use that as a way to dupe the money and then go and retrieve your save and overwrite your system storage save. And you can also make a backup copy of the save of your second account if that's something you want to do. And that's not a bad idea because at any time you can just say, okay, hold up a minute, let me sign in my second account and I'm using my second account as a storage device pretty much. And I'm just giving a lot of stuff to that account that I personally don't want to hold on to, but I don't want to get rid of. That way I can get rid of it on my main account, the one I'm playing on. And my second account has it as a backup just in case I want to retrieve it for someone else. Or if I want it for maybe another character if I'm playing again and it's just lower level stuff that I don't want to keep anymore. So having that second account is very useful. And making backup copies of the second account save is a good idea. 
So that's how you can duplicate by yourself if you don't have people to help you. Just have a second account, have a second controller, log it in anytime you need it, and you can go ahead and dupe away. Alrighty guys, so that's going to pretty much do it for the video. I really hope that you have enjoyed it and that this has helped. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe, but also click the bell. If you don't click the bell, you can't stay notified. I will be posting more Borderlands 3 videos and tutorials and things like this if you are interested. I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace out.